Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Last time we completed the fourth chapter, today we're going on to the fifth and final chapter. Also, uh, just a couple things. One, I want to apologize for how whiny I might have come across in the previous part. Um, I did look up some stuff about that particular chapter, sort of to like vindicate my uh, complaints, and... Yeah, um, there were a few posts I saw that shared my sentiments of, like, this should have been a correct choice, but they wanted, like, this, which didn't make much sense, and, I mean, that kind of goes into the uh, limitations of the series itself. Like, I still love the Phoenix Wright series, but it doesn't lend itself well to, uh, with lack of a better term, multiple paths of thought, uh, where like there might be multiple logical ways to reach a conclusion with the evidence you have, but the game only wants one particular path. Uh, I don't know, it, that just seems like an issue that was more apparent in the second and third games. I don't recall it happening too much in the first game. And it doesn't make them bad games, not at all, but I don't know, like it, it is just noticeable. Danganronpa falls into that a few times as well, but they do generally avoid that. But yeah, that's just a limitation of the whole like mystery visual novel genre anyway. and. To be fair, it would take a lot of extra time to go into uh, drafting like multiple paths and trains of thought and whatnot. So, yeah, um, I still have my few little complaints about a few of the uh, arguments in the previous chapter. But overall, it was still a really good like story. It was intense. You weren't wearing shoes or socks? Okay. Uh, Shichi Shito, the treasured Korean village heirloom whose name means seven branched sword. It is said that this sacred sword represents life itself. Though the branches may appear to be infinite. Well, there, there's seven branches. The choice is limitless. Is that supposed to say finite? But infinite? But okay. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end. One merciless point. And when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world, is severed. The illusion is revealed and the implacability of fate is finally laid bare. Who's that? Oh, and also with uh, Terry Falls, like, at first I was disgusted by the whole, like, dude, you are 20 and you up here calling a 14 year old your girlfriend? Like, it was also raised, like, by a few people that the dude was dealing with some mental issues. And they even brought up during the trial how he had the mannerisms and, like, just behavior and vocabulary of a child. Which raises questions with the whole, like, I, I guess the, like, oh, he was my tutor was, like, a front... And the Hawthorne sisters, like, saw that, like, oh, here is somebody with very blatant mental issues, like, so we, we can take advantage of them to, like, use them to get this $2 million, like, thing. But, well, to be fair, that 
is exactly what happened. They did take advantage of him to try to get the $2 million, but yeah, um, it's, 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 that makes things even more messed up. Like, why they gotta do that to the dude that wasn't, like, completely there, that was having blatant mental issues? Come on, man, he deserved better than that. But all right. Wait, did that say February 6th? Did a whole year pass after the thing or whatever? Hey, Nick. Yeah, what is it? You know how I've got spiritual powers unlike you? Um, sure, you are a spirit medium after all. But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so, yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Oh, fuck off. Pearls. So, that's why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Nick. Huh? I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? It's the New Year's issue of Occult Winter Spiritual Location Special. Oh. Bros look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of intensive training. Oh, sounds too good to be true. I'll say. Sounds more like a scam than me. It's at a spiritual retreat called Hazakura Temple. It's way up in the mountains and I bet it's nice and cold. Just perfect for training. Now I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Don't worry, I've already made special reservations just for us. Yeah, and I signed up for the special course. Th that's nice, and the timing couldn't be better. Because we don't have a case right now anyway. Alrighty then, it's settled. Well, come on, don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Yes, Mr. Nick, you better start packing your stuff. Huh? Me? Why do I have to go? Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit power. The only thing I can channel is a TV. So, um, is there a heated pool in this Hazakura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall. Sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way. How can you be so selfish? Come on, Mr. Nick. Look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? Nope. Not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? What is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. What in the f- What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? This nun. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl. It's... So, the, are the Hawthorne spirit mediums too? Dahlia Hawthorne, I just want to say, it's not her for me to be here in your noble presence. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me. But... It can't be. She was found guilty and should still be in prison. What is it, phone? I know I shouldn't be checking, but whatever. Okay, what the f- Who announces who wins a giveaway at midnight? Oh, well, whatever. Mr. Nick! I'll go. Huh? How's the current temple? I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pearly? Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Nick! You do anything for Mystic Maya, right? You even walk over burning coals, right? Oh, Colt. New Year's issue received from Pearls. What is going on? Dahlia Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But I just had to... 
So they went through this entire thing, redid all of the animations, all of the sprites, got new text boxes and everything, and... Okay. But I just had to BC for myself who this nun really was. They either wanted to say just had to be sure, or I just had to see for myself. All right, main gate. Let me just make sure. An occult magazine featuring House of Curd Temple. Okay. Oh my god, she got a freaking, like, Magatama 2. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Um, these people are here. Maya Faye, age 19. Mia Faye, age deceased. Godot, age... Uh, Pearly... Or Pearl Faye, age 9. It, it's so cold here, Nick. Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. Oh, well, it's supposed to be cold. It's training. <laughs> Sneeze. Her teeth are chattering so loudly, it's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya! So this is the famous Hazakura Temple. Pearly? Uh, I... Sneeze. Well, well, well. You know, who are you? Oh crap, I need a voice. How nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. Oh, th th thank you. Sneeze. Oh my, my, my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been... Oh, you must have been cold. What's with the past tense? We're freezing into human popsicles as we speak. <laughs> well, we are high up in the mountains after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please follow me inside. Th thank you. I was starting to think I would pass. Oh, yes, yes. Almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini. Why? B Bikini? That's right. Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? It's a tradition to have one, and I wanted something that has a nice image to it. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. <laughs> okay, it certainly does. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my, 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 quite brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. <laughs> R -r reckless Wahaha -ha -ha. Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We can come back another day. But went through all that trouble to get reservations for Yes, 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 that's right. You've come all this way, so please enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper, so why don't you have a look around? Okay. Why is your name Bikini? Age 48, hardy, motherly head nun of Asakura Temple, chilling dojo deep in the mountains. Okay. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my, 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 you don't even know that. Forgive him, sister, for he knows not what he is saying. Well, 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 just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. A channeling dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. We have special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual power. Holy items? If you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, uh, it's quite mysterious. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. <laughs> wow. She must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make-believe. A fucking... I, I, I missed... What Maya said in my incredulous incredulousness at a Mr. Rogers reference. Holy crap. You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell 30,000 times. All oh, being showered in freezing cold spirit water. Eh? It's February now, right? You have to be careful this time of the year. If you don't watch it, 
You'll catch pneumonia or maybe even die of hyperthermia. So be careful, you hear? <laughs> huh. How am I supposed to be careful? Oh no. I knew I shouldn't have signed Mystic Maya up for this. Um, sister. About this picture. Well, well, look at that. I must say I look rather divine here, don't you think? Oh, um, yeah. Unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it. <laughs> the makeup was pretty tough, but Iris helped me out. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? We're just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That kind of sounds like fun. Sorry to cut in, but... This Iris. Where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a girlfriend, have you? Glare. No, no, no. That's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the inner temple preparing for this evening. Inner temple? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you go have a look at the main hall for now? <laughs> so she's in the inner temple, huh? This is getting real. Suspension bridge? Wow! Look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. That said fucking dusky bridge. Yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there. Looks like it's flowing real fast. What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm just not very good with heights. Oh. Hey, I've got it. Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge. You know, one, two, three, jump! Might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, all right. I mean, you'll never be scared again. Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can are you there? That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. Well, it's practically the same thing. What the fuck? Those are footprints. There's a narrow path going off in a different direction that, than that of the main hall. The sign here is so old, the text seems to have vanished. The path leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, I'll write wooden staircase on it then. Do you really think that is necessary? You have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, it can't hurt. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya. Come on, Nick. Why don't we hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. Looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Okay, Nick. Now let's try to find a cute, fluffy little bunny and test your theory. That right there sums up the fundamental difference between sane and insane. Well, she's not trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result each time. Just saying. It looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. I guess that's where I'll be training tonight. You want to train with me, Nick? And do the special course? I think not. But it'd be so great if you had spiritual powers, too. Really? I see dead people sounds more like a cause for alarm to me. Sixth sense reference. I can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? The people who live here, I guess. I doubt they have any real phones here. Yeah, but it took like 20 minutes to walk here from the main hall. It would have been smarter of them to build the main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. Some letters are engraved into a roughly cut boulder. D-U-S-T-Y bridge, huh? It says Dusky. Dusky bridge, okay? Come on, Nick, take a look at the bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. This sign is obviously wrong and I'm gonna fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. 
Do I look like a pencil holder to you? Also, that's stone. Where are you going to do with a pencil? So that is reason for concern. Anything really worthwhile checking? Looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here, it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. They gotta have a heater or something in there. Don't you think? I don't wanna die. I'm not worried. I brought my hot water bottle. Did you bring one for me? What are you talking about, Nick? Who carries around two hot water bottles? Eh, the cold doesn't kill me. The ice Queen over here will finish the job. Okay, let's go to the main hall. Just checking. Okay, nothing new. The, the, the main hall. I think it's even colder in here. Sneeze. Ah, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's pot roast for tonight. Yum. Weird. I thought they would serve something a little more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice gruel all the time? Mystic Maya is right. Well, I hope there's mashed potatoes, too. I love mashed potatoes. Aha. Uh -huh. What a cute little acolyte. Oh. Okay. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a six... Oh my god, 6.8 uh, tenths on the weirdness scale. Or 6.8 out of 10 on the weirdness scale, we'll just go with that. Your outfit, did you come here for the special course too? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm... Ah! You're... You're... You're Miss Elise Donum. Elise... Elise Do... De, denim, 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 denim. How'd you? Cause I know that's de, like undel twat, like if you're counting them in French, but at least denim, den, denim, 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 denim. Whatever that person. Yes, that's right. You know of me. My name, my name is Pearl Fay. I, I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? Hmm. I see it now. Zvari, a fortune teller. I've got all your books, Miss Donum. Denim. Tunum. Uh, whatever. Ha ha ha! What a sweet thing to say. And please call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who this is? Well, um, an author, maybe? Yes, and an illustrator of picture books. Picture books, huh? Oh, now I get it. Who in the world are you? Kind-eyed author and illustrator of picture books. Pearls is a huge fan of hers. Um, I'm sorry I didn't know who you are. I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's alright, I take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And I... Oh, and really beautiful pictures too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. <laughs> it makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was alright to make it into a book. Wow. Must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. 
If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. Recently, I've accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. An apprentice? He calls himself Loris. Loris Dunham. I believe he's off doing some landscape sketches now. On Larissa's behalf as well, I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Miss Elise. Anything for you. <laughs> um, why did you come to Hazakara Temple, Miss Elise? Are you here to do some spiritual training? <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Wow! I can't wait to read it. Prose is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. So is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes. The good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes under my robe as well. I want a staff like that. You like the crystal sphere? It's a real, oh, it's real amethyst, you know. Maybe we'll find one like that up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find me one. Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow. You mean you're cooking dinner tonight? That's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? Yes, yes, I want to help with whatever I can. Pearl looks like she just won the lottery. Oh, I'll help too then. No, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it'll be of help to you. My fucking god. It's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? The inner temple. There it is, on the other side of the bridge. Some, mm. My shady meter is off the chart. Well, if you insist, I guess we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. Let's go temple map added to the court record. Blah. Okay, I'll see you two later then. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. There's a laughably large Magatama on the altar. If I can see Psychilox with the tiny Magatama I've got, I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under his hood. I bet the writing on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling. Kind of like how we scribbled math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them. Except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests. And I can't read these walls. So it's not like that at all, huh? It's an altar. Looks a bit old, but someone does a good job of taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in Crane Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. There are straw Zebutan cushions arranged around a hibachi brazier. I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. If it wasn't for this hibachi, they'd Probably freeze to death. Okay. No, wrong button there. Oh, something changed out here. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the inner temple to go help the other nun out. Oh, right. I think her name is Iris. Yeah. That was it. I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what I'll find. I swear to God, if they do 
a Mega Man X4 reference. It's, oh my god, and it is Capcom. Oh my god. Oh my god, Capcom, please. Please, Capcom, you had to have done this. You had to have done this. You had to have made the reference. You got somebody named Iris. Please, Phoenix. I know it won't be voice acted, but Phoenix needs to say at some point, what am I fighting for? Whoa, that bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake. And at least half of the wood on that rickety bridge was rotting, I bet. Not to mention the last part only had like one board left on it. What's wrong with you? Your face is all green. Can you not pick on me for a second? Still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Yeah. I guess I'm a bit surprised, too. Yikes. That temple is in bad shape. Looks like it could, it could collapse at any time. I guess people don't use it too often. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here. Like a ghost might jump out at you or something. Severe so medium afraid of ghosts? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Well, let's go in. This is a... This is a training hall. Man, look at this place. It's just a tiny freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? What do you mean, both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Pearlie's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. So says the girl who I can barely hear over her teeth chattering. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. Hmm. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even I can sense that there's something supernatural about the cavern behind that door. Um. This fucking thing. Excuse me, but who are you? Ah, y you're. Hi there. We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, er, no. It's it's nothing. I wonder why she's spaced out like that. Don't you, Nick? Uh. Did you say something, Maya? Not you too, Nick. I... My name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Faye. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, er, please excuse me. I have some, um, chores to attend to. She sure is beautiful, and a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. Nick, that girl, it, it can't be, but... Shouldn't she be in prison? Okay, heart attack, thank you. It's a hanging scroll, she's screaming. Ack? What is it? Why did you scream like that? Th this scroll! It... It's my mother. What? It's Misty Fay, the master of the Korean School of Channeling. Are... Are you sure? Yes. That crest at the top of the scroll... That's a special mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. What is it? N nothing. It's just that I last saw her over 15 years ago. 
If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. My own mother. I can't even recognize her face. Maya. Why? What is going on here? Look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Nothing. Just a bunch of clothes. Hey, Nick. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Oh? About Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. I mean... Yeah, he's been down that road. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Fooey, it's locked. Come on, Nick. You know you want to open it for me. I can't. You've been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zvari. I know what it is. I-R-I-S. Why are we quoting Luke all of a sudden? Like, just... <laughs> Iris and Nick sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Also, you can just clearly lift up that bar. I mean, it's right there, but okay, fine, whatever. Phew, you managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling all right? Hey, wh what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the training hall, you've been really quiet. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Hey, you, wait up. You think he's yelling at us? He must be. There is no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way. Well, this chapter just got worse. Uh. Hey, I know you. You're... Whoa, sorry. Gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm... Maurice Dunham. Liar, you're Larry. Your clothes may change, but you're still the butts. Shut up. I'm... I'm... Laurie's! And I'm just here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge. So it really is our Larry. Now that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. Why are you here? I, 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 I don't need to see you again. Iris, age 25, a nun at Hazakura Temple. She reminds me so much of her. <laughs> Loris Dunham, better known as Larry Butts, currently in training as Elise Dunham's pupil. So what are you doing with the last name Dunham? Dunham. Well, I... I just... wanted to start over again with a clean slate. A clean slate? You remember, don't you? Last time. Mask to mask case. After that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny. The Book of Destiny. Do you mean... Magic Bottle by Miss Elise Dunham. So beautiful. So moving. So gentle. My heart felt cleansed. I was saved. Maybe I should buy a copy of the Magic Bottle. Wow, Larry will make a great book salesman. Really want to get that book now, too. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see? You see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret. Oh my god. Wow, that's a beautiful photo. You want a copy, don't you? It's okay. I just happen to have made extra prints. Okay. 
still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So tell the truth. You must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? What are you talking about? I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's also about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking, can you draw well enough to make a whole book? <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? No, I already got all, okay. Hmm, now you mention it, I wonder. Looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. When I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended and something else began. Oh, Larry, sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Elise Denham. No, you, you're wrong. It, it's not her, it's the other girl. Other girl? I got a bad feeling about this. Could it be? Ooh, yeah, her. My little Iris. Of course. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. Wonder if she would model for me. Wanna draw a portrait of her. Yeah, you always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a sec. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? Huh? Yeah, that's right, of course I have. I have basically, but 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 Iris is different. I feel like I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never change. Everyone! Hey, Pearly! Dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. All right. I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm going to go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also want to have a look at where Mystic Maya is going to be training. Right back in here. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya... Please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. I'm still worried about you. Well, 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 let's not dilly-dally shilly shally. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. All right, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 for lights out, all right? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um, if you'd like, you can come to my room. Stranger danger. Perhaps we can read some books together. R really? I'd love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well, then, would you like to practice reading with me? I I'd love to. Rose is absolutely smitten with Miss Dunham. So, Larry, what are you going to do? Huh? Me? Um, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there. Um, Miss Elise, so for example, how do you read this? It says gravely. It's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. What about this word? That's another tough one. It says roast. What kind of a book is she reading anyway? 
Well, I'm going to go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. Ugh. It's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Alright, why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Yeah? Oh, uh, Miss Denham, are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no, but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I thought she said she was going to go to your room. I know, but she never showed up. Uh, I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. It's Elise Dunham. A woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. But the really mysterious one is... Oh. Uh, S Sister Iris. G good evening. The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass me by without saying hi. I should try to talk with her and maybe get some answers. This fucking... Also, didn't at least tell you that Pearl is missing? Okay. Um... You're Sister Iris, right? Yes. So, um, when did you come to Hazakura Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. So you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Ah, I see. But you... Didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll in the Ivy University Literature Department? No. I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. My training is all the education I need. I... I see. But... Once in a while when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone, too. It's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any psyche locks. So I guess that means she's not lying. Please don't stare at me like that. What kind of a place is this, anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, I have to admit, it is a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Taking or talking with dead people, who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? So then why stay in a place like this? Ah. Uh, is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bells for light out. I guess it's almost ten now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? If it's alright with you, I'd like you to have this. But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Come to think of it, Sister Bikini was wearing one of these, too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. What is about to go down? I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris. Yes? Just now, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. Th that's... Sister Iris, please tell me the truth. You and I, have we ever met before? New Sprite. Ooh.
What? Okay, a five lock. Uh, Iris! Oh, it's almost ten. Perhaps we can speak again tomorrow. Are they gonna pull a Danganronpa and is she gonna be fucking dead? So my hunch was correct. She does know me. I have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. Uh oh. What the? That blood curdling scream came from the courtyard. That scream. I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! Someone's there! On the ground! M Miss Donum! Dunum! Oh, okay. I just stepped on something soft. Oh my god. What? <laughs> hey! Don't step on my tummy like that! Well, what are you doing laying there in the snow? I was passed out! What do you think? So that blood curly scream was you? But forget about that! Hurry up and call the police! Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still got reception up here in the mountains! You must have a cell phone on you, right? I, um, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, you're useless! I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice! You have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge! Hurry! Hurry, hurry! Run as fast as you can! Y yes, ma'am. If you don't hurry, Iris will! Iris will! What is happening? It's farther than I thought. The bridge is just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened too. Ah! What? What is happening? Dusky Bridge! It's burning down! What the heck happened? What are you doing here? Ah! Huh? W what is it? Is it me? D don't scare me like that, Larry! almost had a heart attack. My name isn't Larry, it's Lord Reeves. Larry, hurry up and call the police. I'm going to the Inner Temple. D don't be stupid. The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now. Listen to me. There's been a murder. Here, at Hazakura Temple. What? What? The murderer might have fled across the bridge. Have to make sure Maya is safe. But... Please, call the police. I've gotta go. Get out of my way, Larry! It's too dangerous! N Nick, wait! I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but I still went for it. Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's planks snapped and gave away. And as I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me, Sanity's Requiem, a final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. Looks like that observation I made... In the previous chapter, he's not dead. He was just in the hospital. I mean, well, obviously, you know, he was in the hospital. So, um, that's one hell of a start to a chapter. Um, so I guess Nick was so caught up with all this. He was like, wait, that's like Dahlia. And then he had nothing to do while in the hospital, but he was just reading up on uh, Maya's old files. Or maybe he was just figuring like, yeah, yeah, he would look at like the trial that came before his and it turns out to have something to do. 
to do well no no because they had even determined uh in that trial that like oh yeah your honor this has something to do with the incident from blah blah ago because she had to hide the poison somehow So I guess he put two and two together, looked up the old trial, and learned some stuff for this area. I don't know. But yeah, um, an intense start to the chapter. Next time, we go from there. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Goodbye.